to turn are from buggy carriages. If you are letting your horses pull you around in an old wooden carriage, then you are making a big mistake. Us here at Buggy Carriages would like to offer you our newest and latest carriage. We call it the Super Deluxe Carriage. It has an all-steel frame with state-of-the-art brakes and even a driver's seat with its very own cushion. It also has three-inch wooden wheels. And the best part is, it's only $20. I know what you're thinking. There's no way a carriage like this could possibly be only $20. And that's why I'm here to tell you it is. The Super Deluxe Carriage is only $20. So come by and give us a visit at Buggy Carriages. Welcome to ABE News. I'm Haley Zwecker. And I'm Haley Kahn. And we're here live on April 15th reporting with your breaking news. It is now 6.35 a.m. The president has been shot. We will release as much information as we can about the shooting once we hear from our investigators. What we do know is that Abraham Lincoln and the First Lady were seen heading to Forest Theater last night along with their guest, Major Rathbone and his fiance. They were watching Our American Cousin when a shot fired from behind them. The assassinator supposedly got into the presidential box due to the fact that the guard on the guard of the box moved from his position for a better view of the play. Lincoln, who was sitting in a rocking chair on the left side of the box, was leaning over the railing, looking out to the audience at the time of the shot. Our sources say that the bullet went into his skull and came to a rest behind his right eye. Our sources also say that Major Rathbone was seen trying to catch the assassinator, who brought out a dagger and aimed it at his heart. Major Rathbone put, pushed the dagger away, and then, which then struck his arm. The assassinator then made an escape by jumping off the presidential box and onto the stage. We are currently not sure who was on the stage at the time, but we do know that the assassinator has escaped. We cannot release too much information about him or her in case the in case the they are watching right now. Four doctors from within the audience tried to help save the president in hope of reviving him. A doctor com commented, the president is paralyzed and is only taking breaths between long periods of time. Tune in later for more information about this terrible event. Have you ever been in a small carriage crash and it wasn't even your fault? Did you have to pay for the damage too? Hi, I'm Carrie Thomas and I, like many of you, have been a victim of a small carriage crash. The wagon that crashed alongside me did not even have to pay for the damage while I paid two dollars. I thought this was unfair, so I took my case to Notlick and Associates. At Notlick and Associates, Dr. James Notlick actually listened to my predicament. He even told me he would be my lawyer. We went to court and he won me seven dollars. Seven whole dollars. That was way more than I was expecting. If you or one of your loved ones has been a victim of a situation that you think is unfair, please call Notlick and Associates. Thanks, Notlick and Associates. Welcome to ABE News. I'm Haley Kahn. And I'm Haley Zwecker. It is now 8.42 a.m. on April 15th. We have just received word from our private investigators that the president has been pronounced dead. The police have released the name of a suspect they believe could be the murderer, John Wilkes Booth. Booth is a middle-aged man who is a native to Bel Air, Maryland. You mean John Wilkes Booth, the local actor? But he's a northerner from Maryland. Yes, he is a local actor, but he's still highly supported of the South. I just saw him in Julius Caesar's play last month, though. Oh, what a handsome man he is. He's not very handsome anymore now that he's a suspect who might have killed the president. We have information here saying that his parents are British and he's a member of a rather large family. He is a know-nothing. You know that dreadful party. Totally against Lincoln and all. I'm not surprised there. Those nuts think that this country was made just for them. He has made several previous unsuccessful attempts to kill the president. One, under the motive of trading him for Confederate soldiers trapped in the Union prisons. This time, he was angered after hearing his speech and vowed, and I quote, this will be the last speech he ever makes. He was reported jumping off the balcony last night, yelling, six temper tyrannous. Once landing on the stage, he broke his fibula bone, but still managed to escape. 
there is a massive search for him right now, but he is yet to be found. We have received a tip, though, that he may be hiding on a farm somewhere in Virginia. A local resident reported that he saw a man who looked rather similar to the actor. Police are on the scene investigating the situation. We will release as much information about the whereabouts of this suspect as we hear from our investigators. I hope we will find him soon. Tune in again at 9.30 this morning for another update on this tragic event and of Secretary of State William Seward condition after being the victim of another assassination attempt, possibly associated with Lincoln's. I'm Haley Zwecker. And I'm Haley Kahn. And thank you for joining us here at ABE News.